Welcome to Engineering Update. I'm Melissa Barnes, Associate Editor of ECN. In this week's headlines, wearable electronics take the spotlight at CES, an open source platform for mind machine melding, and the eye optic augmented reality contact lens. InnoVega is showcasing the first fully functioning prototypes of iOptic at CES. The device is an augmented reality system that projects displays onto contact lenses. The project was originally funded by DARPA to be used on the battlefield, but the company is now gearing towards more mainstream applications. With the iOptics glasses, the picture is projected onto the contact lens, which filters the real world from digital environment, then interlacing them into one image. The technology enables users to simultaneously focus on objects in front of their eyes as well as distant objects. The micro components embedded into the contact lenses allow the user to focus on near eye images while light projected by the display glasses pass through the center of the pupil to focus on the retina. The two separate images on the retina are superimposed to create one augmented reality. InnoVega plans to acquire FDA clearance by late 2014 or 2015. Apart from the well-established Google Glass and various smartwatches in existence, several companies are expecting to unveil wearable computing devices at CES that are easier to use, extend battery life, and tap into the power of gestures, social networks, and cloud computing. With new widespread availability of inexpensive microelectromechanical systems, it is becoming more and more possible for smart technologies to cross boundaries never seen before. Sensors are becoming more unique, such as those that respond to pressure, temperature, and blood sugar. The Nimi wristband makes use of this technology, which will showcase its ability to verify a user's identity through the individual's own unique heartbeat. Thalmic Labs will showcase its MYO armband, which can be used as a remote control device to operate a quadricopter drone. The band responds to electricity generated in forearm muscles as well as arm motions and finger gestures. The OpenBCI Kickstarter project is an EEG platform that simplifies viewing and utilizing brainwaves that engineers and hobbyists alike are sure to find intriguing. OpenBCI's founders created an alternative to similar systems out there through the use of an EEG chip that offers 24 bits and 8 channels of recording, which is specifically designed to measure small EEG signals. The board and code libraries are simplified for easy interaction and manipulation for the user from experts to amateurs. The system relies on Bluetooth for sending and receiving data with an SD card for storage. The software will also include a suite for ECG and EMG signals to track the wearer's heartbeat and muscle activity. The system is designed to make it easier for designers to use EEG data for their own personal applications. OpenBCI's goal is to create an interface for crowdsourcing well-structured experiments and collecting neurofeedback data. That wraps up this week's report. Be sure to join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn, or email me your story ideas. I'm Melissa Barnes, and this has been your Engineering Update.